Number 21. The regular price of a shirt at a store is $11.70. The sale price of the shirt is 80% less than the regular price, and the sale price is 30% greater than the store's cost for the shirt. What was the store's cost in dollars for the shirt? Now, okay, so here's the thing. Um, with percentages, there's usually more than one way to look at it. So I'm going to present to you the way that when I looked at this problem, it makes the most sense to me. But no, if you're thinking like, well, couldn't you do it if you're going up, going down? There are other ways to approach this. So when I look at this and I see that the sale price is 80% less, we're starting at 11 70 and this is the regular price the sale price says here is 80 percent less than that so i go okay if it's 80 percent less the full amount is a hundred percent the sale amount is 80 percent less so i want to know what 20 percent of that regular price is and then i'll know my sale price Again, are there other ways you can approach this or look at this? It's going to be the same numbers, 80, 20. You know, the same numbers are going to be in there. But yes, you can come at it a different angle. It's all the same. <laughs> as long as you're getting to your answer, your sale price is going to be 20% of the regular price. So to get this, I am going to, to do 1170 times 20% which is the same as 0 0.2. Uh, the other, I think, most common way to do this, is someone might go, well, if it's 80% off, let me find 80% of 1170 and then subtract that from 1170. That also works. They are the same. Okay, so 1170 times 0 0.2 is going to be $2.34. That is my sale price. Okay, our last part, the sale price is 30% greater than the store's cost for the short shirt. Okay, so now I have the store's cost for the shirt. It says the sale price is 30% greater than that. So I'm going to call the store's price X. So 30% more than X is the sale price. So how would I represent that? If the sale, if the store price, excuse me, is the absolute, it's the full amount, 100% of the store's price, and then it's 30% greater than that, then the sales price must be 130% of the store's price. So I'm going to multiply this um, store's price by 1.2 three because that's 130 percent and that is going to give me the sale price of 234 so now i have my little algebra equation that 1.3 times x and again remember i'm using x to represent the store's cost what our ultimate goal is here 1.3 times x equals two dollars and 34 cents now to undo this x is being multiplied by 1.3 i need to divide both sides by 1.3 and when you divide two dollars and 34 cents by 1.3 you get that x is equal to 1.8 so a dollar 80 the store's cost in dollars is a dollar 80 1.80 or 1.8 and that is our final answer hey guys if this was helpful or useful in any way please let youtube know so i can keep helping you and others like you comment like share subscribe you know the drill also, if you're interested in practical or fun math related items like this math clock or this hopefully humorous t-shirt, click on the links down below to check out my spread shop and Etsy stores. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.